Well, I would certainly make sure that they know what they're talking about, uh, and they should be as direct and as fact-driven uh, as they can be with the members that they talk to, because members respond uh, to facts, and they, they want to do a good job of representing their communities, and this is sometimes an issue that flies below the radar screen, and they need to make sure that it's prominent in, in the thinking of my colleagues. How's that? And your, and your bill that uh, you just talked about this morning? Yes. Uh, a quick explanation of what? Uh, it would reauthorize the SRF, and it would um, uh, create a clean water trust fund, and it would authorize a Withia uh, financing program that would be uh, that would be routed through the SRF. Okay. So okay. with the uh, the water utilities who are here today, and um, what are the kinds of things that would help to to explain what it means to them? I think talking about the back. I mean, I think. What it would mean for the water utilities that are here today is that they would have access to financing streams that right now they do not have. Uh, and what it would mean uh, for the country is that we would begin to address uh, the roughly $300 billion backlog that exists of need in the area of wastewater infrastructure and drinking water infrastructure.